How's everybody doing? Good. 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 Okay, obviously there's gonna be some people that just look at the box score and you know see the final numbers. But from you, from your perspective, how do you think your, your debut went? Um, I think it was good. Uh, you know, I feel like coming in, just being able to make some plays off the ball, um, get some rebounds. I feel like I was solid defensively. Um, and I mean those are those are the 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 points that I really wanted to come out and. You know, just just prove to myself that you know my ankle was straight. I could move, guard, do everything well. So um, I got all the the jitters out now, and now I can just go play free. Because of the ankle, was there a lot of just I don't, I don't know about anxiety, but just angst and nervousness to get ready to go? Because you kind of had to watch your team play, and you're sitting back and you're waiting. Can you just take us through that process and where you were at mentally for the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean. That was that was the toughest thing was just sitting on the sideline watching, you know, basketball the whole time, not being able to hop in and play. But um not all my teammates, I mean, they were super supportive the whole time, wanting me to fully heal up. Um and you know, just keeping my head on straight the whole time, making sure that, you know, they're talking to me the whole time, not excluding me or anything. Um and I learned a lot while I was sitting out. I feel like just sitting to the side and watching games and, you know. Seeing how I could plug myself in, I think that really helped me. What if plays tonight that maybe because of my ankle, you couldn't have that burst, but you're like, okay, when I'm fully healthy, I can get to that spot or I can explode a little bit better, like the play that Terrence Ross got you. Right. I feel like once I'm healthy, I'll be able to follow through that. Yeah, I mean, it was it was first game. He made a good play. Um, I'm not going to trip on that. I feel like, uh, you know, my ankle's fine. Um, just putting it to the test more, putting it in, in more situations to help it out more. But, uh, I mean, I'm confident in my ankle. I'm confident in me. I was going to get your trouble classmate when we had Suggs on the other side. First game, you guys being both high picks, you know, especially yeah. in the first game. How was that? It's a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, Suggs, my dude, Jalen, uh, I mean, just watching him over the years, uh, being able to play with him over in Greece, I mean, just to see him doing his thing. We at this level now. I mean, it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, I'm super happy for him. He's been doing his thing. So uh, to have that as my first game, I mean, uh, I knew it was going to be a lot of fun. What was that adrenaline like when the, you got introduced and the fans are kind of giving you that ovation and, and it's it's your debut and all of that stuff kind of comes to a head for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's adrenaline for sure. But um, at the same time, I try to just, you know, stay in the moment. And, you know, just remember that at the end of the day, it's just what's going on within that rectangle. It's just still basketball. So um, it's my team versus them. And, you know, if you let your head get outside of that, then that's when you kind of beat yourself up. You know, you, you make yourself your own enemy. So I kind of just try to, you know, stay stay in the moment, stay calm about everything um, and just trust myself. What was this week like uh, working out with the crews and, and kind of watching from a distance as the team was on the road trip and you're trying to balance those two things, trying to get back and, and trying to pay attention to what they're doing too? Yeah, going down to uh, the crews was great for me. Um, they really pushed me while I was down there. Uh, you know, they have a, a great group of guys that um, had high intensity. Uh, and I think going into those practices was something that I needed, um, especially just trying to, you know, get back into a full speed, you know, get back to the highest level, which is which is out here. So uh, I feel like, you know, going down there helped me a whole lot. I think in those couple of days, I got to scrimmage with them and play. Uh, I learned a lot more about where I was in the healing process. And then, you know, it gave me confidence to step out there and play. I'm sure you thought about every different way, the, your first ever NBA game would go, the, the speed of the players, whatever. Is there anything that you couldn't account for until you got out there or something you didn't think about until you stepped out on the floor? I wouldn't say it was anything I, I didn't envision or I couldn't, you know, imagine mm -hmm. it being like, um, but whenever you step out there, it's still, you know, it, like it's always different than what, you know, you might've had in your head as far as once you get out there, you're still, all the all the time you spent trying to prepare your mind for it, once you get out there, you're still gonna feel, you know, those, those jitters or whatever, not even jitters, but just the excitement, the overexcitement of just wanting to play. Um, and I mean, I was so anxious for game time today just because, you know, it's been so many games that I've been, you know, part of the, the warm up and stuff like that. And then I have to sit. So this is my first time fully going through the whole process, which was a lot of fun for me. So I think it was a good day. We got a good win, good team win. I think a lot of guys 
sold a lot of different things. So it's a good day today. Would you attribute your perimeter struggles to the rust or the jitters or a combination of things? Or what would you say? Uh, I just missed them. I think um, the more, I, I mean, I'm confident in my shot. Uh, a couple of them felt really good. A couple of them, not, I mean, we're, we're off by a lot more than I want them to be, but I mean, it comes with it. I mean, you miss some, you make some, but you gotta keep shooting. I feel like uh, more than anything, I was happy in my confidence and all my shots. I feel like, you know, it's one thing to plan, like you're gonna, you know, step into a shot, be confident when you see it, but um, to really get out there first game, and, you know, it felt like it was just another game of basketball for me, which is the main thing that I'm happy about more than anything. You, you were checking uh, Suggs uh, a good portion of the time you were out there, and uh, he struggled as well. So was your defense something that you were, were pretty proud of tonight? Yeah, I think I think I moved my feet uh, okay. I think I was solid. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think I was straight. A lot of people say the immediate impact in the first week or so. When you're sitting, you pay attention to the guys that you were drafted with, you got relationships with when you came over with them. Do you pay attention to that? Does that affect you coming in knowing I'm the number one pick? I want to make that with the same impact, whether it's my first game or first week, similar or better than this? Um, I mean, I'm competitive. So, you know, regardless, I want to be better than than who I was yesterday and, you know, whoever's up against me. But uh, I don't try to compare myself to any of those guys. I mean, I have a lot of respect for for all of them. Um, real, I mean, my class is full of big time talent. So uh, I think that's, it kind of motivates me more to, to be more of myself. I know where I rank amongst those guys. So I just, you know, go play my game. And, and you know, we've been pushing each other for so long, talking about the guys in my class that, you know, this is something I'm used to. I'm, I'm used to us pushing each other to, to be better. So seeing them guys do that thing, I mean, I'm happy for them. Now I'm excited that I get my chance to do my thing. Are you prepared for the school year being a number one pick? Everything you do, they're going to say, this is the first time since this number one pick, this one. Now, how do you prepare yourself for that? Did you deal with that this year? Because that's going to be coming a lot. Um, you don't have to listen to everything. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they could say it, but it's all about if I put – you know, my ears to it and, and really let it resonate with me. Um, I mean, I try to keep, I try to keep my energy in the right place. I try to keep my head in the right place. And so, um, you know, my team, they know what, you know, what they expect out of me. I know what I expect out of me. And I mean, that's all that's really mattering to me. I mean, people can say whatever they want outside of that, but I probably won't hear it.